I want to say a couple of things about uh, the IIW Type 1 reference block. Um, this is a block that we use uh, to calibrate with. And it has a 4 inch radius and a 1 inch radius. So what happens, we'll get a signal at 4 inches and 9 inches. And let me show you how that happens. Here's, here's the uh, Type 1 IIW block. Here's the zero marking. From the zero to this radius is four inches. And from the zero to this radius is one inch. So if we have a transducer on here <clears throat> and our sound path is hanging this direction, this is an exaggerated picture, but that sound path, that sound energy will come out, strike this four inch radius, come back, and when it comes back, it will record four inches on your screen. The reason it is, it hits this four inches, and it hits perpendicular to our transducer. Therefore, it records that. You'll see that reflection. And I know some of you are saying, oh, that's eight inches of sound path. That's correct. But measured is four inches, and I think, don't know for sure, but I'm assuming that the electronics inside of our ultrasonic testers does a divide by two. Um, so, the sound comes out, strikes the four inch radius, bounces back, perpendicular strikes our transducer, we get a four inch pulse uh, on our display. When that, when that signal comes back, it also uh, deflects off the top surface of the block and it comes down and it'll strike that one inch radius. That one inch radius will come back so we have four inches plus one inch, but see that one inch, when it comes back, does not strike the transducer at a perpendicular angle. It will strike it like this. We won't see it. So we see four inches, and then one inch is five, and then four more inches coming back will be nine inches. So it's four inches plus four plus one is five, is nine. Four plus five inches is nine. So that explains a little bit how this thing works. Now there's one caution I want to talk about when you calibrate. Set your range at 10 inches and depending on the transducer you may see, uh, you'll definitely see the 4 and the 9 inch radiuses but you may see a signal coming up right around 8 inches or so. Stay away from that. That's a mode converted signal. Uh, because of the uh, sound path 9 inches, we're bouncing off the side of this block. It's only an inch wide. And we're getting a mode converted signal. And if you're not careful when you calibrate, and if you grab this guy, you're going to have a problem. Your calibration is going to be wrong. Your exams are going to be wrong. So let me show you. I'll demonstrate to you. In this case, I'm using a, uh, a 5 megahertz, 45 degree angle. And... Uh, I'm on the zero, and I'm getting my uh, four inch. There's my four inch. The amplitude is quite high, and then there's my five inch, or excuse me, my nine inch um, radius. See right up front here? There's a signal that wants to jump up. See that guy right there? That signal jumping up is trying to entice you. And it's a mode converted signal, it's not the radius. So if you put your gate over this guy, and if you uh, calibrate with that reflector, you're going to be wrong. Your velocity is going to be wrong, and, and your zero. So um, keep in mind that that signal is present, and avoid it. Look at this signal that's further out. See, this is a good example of it. I have my gain cranked up a bit, but... But you can see, mode converter signal, that's my good signal right there. My, that's my 9-inch reflector. Let me take my gain down a little bit. But, but you can see, this guy's kind of enticing. Stay away from him.